Well, Tyler, a lot of snow today, white Christmas, but uh, what about the days ahead? Well, we definitely keep the snow. It turns really cold and it doesn't leave. It's a really long duration blast of this cold that's on the way. And we'll take a look at some of the snow totals, though. Recorded today, these are reports from around the region, over eight inches in West Norwich, a little bit less in the Champlain Valley, South Burlington at the Weather Service office, the official number there, 2.7. Port Henry, five and a half inches, seven inches in Wells. It's not so bad out there temperature wise right now. 24 in St. Albans, 22 in Waterbury. And in southern parts, we have 21 in Springfield. But look at that 13 in Keene. That's the cold number on the map. A little odd seeing it all the way down there. But that's the current situation right now. Most of the snow has come to an end. Still a little bit of snowflakes in the Northeast Kingdom. And we're watching this band of lake effect snow pointed at Rutland. I think that'll still be the case tomorrow. So while most of us are dry tomorrow, there could be a little bit of snow in Rutland County over into Windsor County. And here's Futurecast going through tomorrow. This is tomorrow morning. And notice as we play it through, it's a stubborn little band there. It really doesn't move, but that's the only part of the region dealing with snow. And it's uh, lake driven from Lake Ontario. And it just keeps going there later on. It'll be breezy. And that's a component of the forecast because it's cold. Tomorrow we're in the teens. But when you factor in the breeze, it'll feel more like the single digits. So we're calling for a high of 17 in the Champlain Valley tomorrow. That's a long ways underneath the average. The average high is 30 for tomorrow. Pick the town nearest you. Single digits on the thermometer in Saranac Lake. 16 Rutland, 18 in Bennington, 14 will do in St. Jay. But I wanted to show you this. This is what it'll actually feel like tomorrow at 3 p.m. Basically right around zero, plus or minus a few degrees. Feeling like two degrees in Burlington, minus one in Rutland. So it is really cold and it only gets worse going into the rest of the week. It's dry though, so it's a little bit odd. It's really cold, but generally dry going into the rest of the week. Maybe that's good news, maybe it's not. Depends on who you are. But here's the temperature trend. This is the important stuff here. That's the high on Thursday, zero. And this is in Burlington, the Champlain Valley. So it's colder than this as you go out into places like Saranac Lake and Newport. Three on Friday, nine Saturday, six Sunday, three on Monday. Really long stretch here with the single digit cold. The only potential storm that we're watching is late in the week. It's either Friday or Saturday. There's really mixed signals here, but it looks like there's some energy that passes to the south and probably forms into quite a storm. The question is just how close is it? This particular depiction is offshore and keeps us dry. There are other solutions that are closer. So the time frame of Friday and Saturday is what we're watching. But until then, it is dry and it is cold, getting colder as we head into later in the week. We're looking at those single digit highs above zero, single digit below zero, low temperatures here for the foreseeable future. There's a New Year's Eve, New Year's Day at the end. Sunday and Monday looks dry at this point. Renee, back to you.